Hey, hey, Susie, I haven't told my parents yet, but I've decided not to go away to college next year so that we can get married. Oh, Johnny, that makes me so happy. Okay, okay, quiet down. Please, class, quiet down. Now, for homeroom, we have a guest, Mr. Josh Ramsey, who was nice enough to come over from the County Health Clinic to talk to us. Mr. Ramsey. Thank you, Miss Anderson. I've come to talk to you all on a problem that's reached near epidemic proportions here at Lincoln High. I'm talking, of course, about venereal disease. <laughs> Josh Ramsey, VD caseworker. <laughs> Starring Peter Fonda as Josh Ramsey, VD caseworker. Now, I heard some of you giggle when I said VD. And actually, that's quite natural. People giggle at things they don't understand, especially sex. That's right, sex. And it's virtually impossible to get VD except through sexual contact. Anyone who tells you you can get VD from a doorknob or a toilet seat is just full of prunes. <laughs> VD can cause blindness, insanity, even death. Let me show you something here. Yes. This is a picture of a man in the third stage of syphilis. <laughs> If you have a genital sore, body rash, a burning sensation when urinating, or a milky emission, you may have venereal disease. Now, we at the County Health Clinic want you to come in and see us if you think you might have VD. And there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Anybody can get VD. Middle class, intelligent, nice people. Now, are there any questions? Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, did uh, you ever have uh, VD? <laughs> No! Oh, now, wait just a sec, wait just a second, everybody. Now, I think what Mr. Ramsey said is very important, and I want you all to think about it. Okay, you can go. Thank you. Just all right. Hey, uh, see you after the big game tonight. Okay, Johnny. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, I wonder if I could come visit you at the clinic. Sure, why not after school? Well, I'd have to skip cheerleader practice, but I guess it's kind of important. It isn't like Susie to miss practice. I hope there isn't anything wrong. Oh, God, I hope not. decided to come see you. I'm glad you did, Susie. It certainly sounds like VD to me. Do I get my penicillin shot now? Well, let's wait till the tests come back. But no sex, Susie. Oh, I know. Well, thanks. I guess I'll go now. Fine. As soon as you give me the list of your sexual contacts. Sexual contacts? Yes, you know, any boys you've had sex with. Or girls. <laughs> nah, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I can't. Susie, friends whom, whom you've had sex with could suffer irreversible physical and mental damage if you don't tell me who they are. But, but Johnny. Johnny? Johnny who? We were going to get married. If he finds out I have VD, he'll know I've had sex with someone else. Maybe he gave it to you? No. Johnny's super straight. I must have gotten it that one time, that one stupid time. Susie, you owe it to the other boy. And most of all, you owe it to Johnny. Now tell me, Johnny's last name? I can't. I love him. Don't you realize? He'll find out sooner or later. No. Maybe he doesn't have to. Maybe I could get one of my girlfriends to seduce him, and then he'll think she gave it to him. It's a weird idea, but a possibility. Susie, you can't play games with venereal disease. It's a loaded pistol pointed right at your crotch. Oh, I feel great. Yeah, me too, man. We're gonna stop Washington tonight for sure. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay.
Boy, my penis sure hurts when I urinate. <laughs> that guy from the health clinic said? Maybe you got VD. Uh, I gave that a thought, but it's impossible. He said that the only way you can get VD is from sex. The only girl I've had sex with is Susie. Well, maybe she gave it to you. If you ever say that about Susie again, I'll kill you. Okay, okay. <laughs>